I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello and welcome to this special video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry Studios. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you on this precious day. It's another day that God has made and we shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. My dear friend, today I want to share a short message with you and it's important that we as born again believers understand and know this. Now I'll keep it very simple and straight to the point so that you can be blessed and you can listen to this even on the go. Now, as we begin, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, just lift up your hands and surrender to God. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray. Help me to press in. Help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, the title of my message is God is not willing for you to perish. The Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 18 from verse 14, it says in the same way, your father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. And when it says these little ones, Jesus is referring to his children, to his sheep, to the born again believers, to his disciples. The Bible says God is not willing that any of these should perish. My dear friend, I want to teach you and I want you to know that by God's grace, we can make it through any situation and any trial. And God is not willing that that trial should overcome you and you perish. But God is willing for you to prosper, for you to be in good health, for you to prosper even as your soul prospers, to prosper in Christ, to increase in your stature, in your strength, to increase and not decrease to go up and not down, to get closer to Him. God loves you with an everlasting love. And this is demonstrated through the full and finished work of the cross. It's demonstrated through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. One way that you can know that God loves you, and the most important way, is the fact that He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to die for us in our place and pay the price so that we could be reconciled back to God again. He paid the ultimate price so that we could be reconciled back to God and we could experience God's grace and God's mercy. I'll read this scripture to you once again. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should perish. God is not willing for you to perish. It is not God's will. Seek God's will for your life. In this lifetime, we make mistakes. We go the wrong way. We do things that sometimes put us in danger. But it's so important that we hold on to the love of God and we understand and know that God knows that we fall short of the glory. We make mistakes. There is no one on earth who is perfect. We all make mistakes. This is where the grace comes in. The grace of God fills the gap. It fills the gap and it makes a way where there seems to be no way. It makes a way where there is no way. It actually bridges the gap so that we can be qualified through Christ in order to meet the righteous requirements that God requires. Oftentimes when we're going through trials, we think, perhaps I'm not doing something right. That's why God is not delivering me. Perhaps I haven't done everything that God wants. Perhaps there is something wrong with me. But the answer is we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. God made a way that is permanent, a way that guarantees that you'll be saved. Now, the message of grace doesn't necessarily mean you should go out and do everything that you know is wrong, but it covers you when you make mistakes. It covers you so that you can be reconciled back to God and you can have a chance to be born again and saved. You can have a chance to go to heaven. I thank God for the full and finished work of the cross in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, and I thank Him that He thought of this way so that we could experience his grace and his mercy so that we could experience his deliverance working power so that we could experience what only he can do my dear friend i want to encourage you keep on going for god understand and know that it is god's will for you to prosper body soul and spirit 
It is God's will for you to go up. It is God's will to deliver you. Deliverance is in the will of God. It is God's will to save you. It is God's will to empower you to live this life in a way that gives Him glory. So trust in God, even from today onwards. And believe and know that He's got something good in store for you. And He will not let you go. He will not let you go down the wrong path. And He will protect you. Wherever you find yourself, God is able to deliver you. God is able to see you through. Through the grace that is available in Christ, God is able to bring about a change so that you may go up. Through the grace that is available in Christ, God is able to protect you even from the consequences of bad decisions you might have made in the past. Hold on to Jesus. Trust in Him. You are not alone. Sometimes when we're going through tough times, we feel as though we are alone. We feel as though God has left us. We feel as though we can't talk to God, we can't connect with Him. But the Bible assures us and shows us that even in those tough times, God is with us. So be encouraged and keep on pressing on. Press on to a greater glory, press on to a greater level. Press on to a greater dimension and receive the blessing of God in Christ that makes rich and adds no sorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, God loves you and He wants you to be blessed. Now, in saying that, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to praise Him. Father, we just praise You and we thank You. We thank You for Your goodness. We thank You for Your mercy. We thank You for Your love that never runs out on us. And even today, Your grace is sufficient for Your power is made perfect in weakness. We give You praise and thank You that Your power is made perfect in weakness. No matter what we may face, no matter what trial we may go through, your power is made perfect in weakness. And we give you praise even as that power manifests and delivers, my dear friend who's watching this video, because you are the God of second chances. You give us a second chance. You give us the chance that we need in order to make it through. You fill the gap. By the power of your Spirit, we can put to death all those ways that we know are wrong, and we can follow after you. By the power of your Spirit, we can go up and not down. By the power of your Spirit, we can increase and not decrease, spiritually and physically also. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. By your grace and by your power, deliver my dear friend. See my dear friend through. Take my dear friend to a greater level and a greater altitude. Thank you for this message. And thank you for your scripture that shows us that you're not willing for any of your little ones to perish. And that just shows us that you don't want any born again believer, any disciple to perish. But you want us to live a life that gives you glory. We give you praise and thank you for this. That my dear friend shall not perish, my dear friend shall succeed, my dear friend shall live to see your goodness, even in the land of the living. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. My dear friend, if you are trusting God for a miracle, receive your miracle today. If you are trusting God for deliverance, receive your deliverance today. If you are trusting God for signs, wonders and great things to happen, Receive it today in the name of Jesus. If you are trusting God for deliverance, receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. If you are trusting God to break chains of cycles that keep on repeating, receive a breaking of those chains right now and total and complete deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend. And I'll see you again soon. Until then, shalom and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.